Hey everyone, welcome back. Uh, so I'm super excited because my Honkator Draculaura got here today. Uh, let me know if you guys got yours already. Um, but uh, she's, yeah, I think she's my favorite out of the three. And today's segment is, again, Angel reviewing things badly. Um, so let's just get right into it and look at her in the box. Here's like the Draculaura through the ages. Um, and then like her. <laughs> um, here is Draculaura in the box. She came with like a, a screen protector that I already took off. Um, there's her cute hat that everybody's in love with. But here she comes in a coffin shaped box. Sorry, I'm a little scatterbrained right now. I just spent the whole day cleaning. Um, coffin shaped box that has like Dracula iconography around it like lips and the hearts um this is like supposed to mimic this I think but like, maybe more like a her petticoat or whatever or the, her petticoat no that's the petticoat I don't know I'm talking about her overskirt her shoes it is the shoe she's wearing and on the front of the box over here behind basic Draculaura it says Honka Tour with more Dracula iconography, a bat, her skelet design, a bleeding heart, and vampire lips. Her skelet is all over the box, and it's so pretty with the like winged hearts and safety puns, pins and bows, and like the regular skelet. I really love the box design. It's super cute. I'm not too crazy about the font for some reason, but I like everything else. And then the back. She did come with her certificate of authenticity and this thing, like a note from her. I'll let you pause that so you can read it. And there's the certificate. And she also came with a diary. Um, I don't know. Did you guys like when I flipped through it last time? Let's do it again, I guess. You guys can like pause and read. It's good old Namantha sex um, throwback. Do you guys remember her when she used to do that in all her videos? Toots toys. <laughs> her, her her handwriting is like so cute, but sometimes it hurts my eyes to read it. Let's do that instead. I think that's a little better. No big ass glares sorry just focus i'm gonna read this later but not right now I wonder if anybody ever like reads all the diaries online i feel like that'd be a cute series or if they have like an audiobook of them that should be a thing that they do you know oh I love when there's huge swaths of writing with no uh, breaks. I wish they'd actually fill those out with, like, the classes. Okay, that's what she came with, and with, like, the classic Scalette bow, but in, like, the metallic pink. She came with a stand that's also metallic pink that's going to be hell to take out. And here she is again before she is unboxed. Um, that's okay for a bag. It's not, like, Frankie bad bag. Like, her bag, her bag is bad. But she's got, like, little chains here. Oh, okay, let's just wait until we get her out. And let's get her out so we can look at her a little better. Okay, here she is out of the box, and she is so pretty. Definitely my favorite out of the three, and it's not just because she's pink, and it's probably just because she's pink, uh, if we're being honest. But um, I just think she has a lot more thought put into her and, like, better pieces than the other girls. But I have to show you this thing. It's ridiculous. What the F? There's literally four in that one. Why do I want... Like, look how sparsely she's rooted. Thank you, I guess. Um... I guess it keeps her hair nice and out, but it's, I just thought it was funny and I want to show you guys that. Um, so let's go into the details of this glitter encrusted bat wing cape. 
I wish I had like an emblem on it, like a monster emblem with like embroidery, you know, for like seventy five dollars. For seventy five dollars. Oh yeah, she was seventy five dollars, and she got here a lot faster. I feel like they had them already. Already, they were just like waiting, like the month thing, the month thing, month thing to like release them. Um, here's her bag. Um, it's fine. It's just like stamped on. And, like, there's, like, messy paint and, like, two ribbons. And it, it opens at the top here. But I'm, like, it's so small compared to her. I don't know. It's cute, though. I love this piece right here at the back. It's so cute. And her safety pin earrings. Her iconic safety pin earrings here but in um this hot, hot pink. Her really pretty face with her janky eyelashes. Um, I'm not here for the eyelashes. And if they did, I wish they were a little, like, I don't know, better. Like, they're just kind of choppy. She does have, like, those protector things. Oh, they're a little plussed up. There's hearts at the pegs instead of just a regular safety pin. Cute. I love her, like, overall dress with, like, her underskirt. Not her underskirt. Her poofy sleeved undershirt. It's got, like, faint hearts on, on underneath it. No, they're, um, they're bat wings. Underneath her shirt, I won't be taking her clothes off. Sorry, guys. That's not the kind of person I am. Her belt is safety pin. Not safety pin. Um, Has, like, one of those pegs in the back. And it's got, like, these loose hearts uh, dangling off it. But I'm going to leave that rubber band there. Um, She's got a two-layered skirt. It's super cute. With, like, the overlayer being, like, spider webs. And, like, choppy at the end. Well, it's not choppy, but, like, it's not finished. But I don't think it really needs it. Um, and then there's a lace detailing hemmed at the end of the underskirt. She's got leggings with um, lace trim. They're so cute. And painted details on her shoes. Always a good thing. Not like excellent painting just on the buckles. But like, I guess I'll take it. Mine are a little messy. Um, not fine for $75. But what can you do? But be stupid like me and pay for her. <laughs> Um, the, sh the hat is definitely, like, the standout piece. I love the hot pink, um, vamp hat with, like, the little bat on top. They need to make this, and it's, like, pinned to the top when it's got, like, a little black, I don't know, tassel at the top. Um, not really much else to say. Oh, she comes with a ring, I think. It's a coffin, I think. Yeah, it's super cute, and, um... I wish it was like a circle because Monster has made rings before and it's like, you know, made to go on her finger. But okay, that's fine. I don't really want to harp on her because I just want to get her up there. And I'll be right back with where she is displayed up there with the rest of the girlies and like my final thoughts on the line. Okay, so here are all the ghouls all together with their boxes in the back. This is just mostly collector dolls. I just you know have them up here with all of them um i was really hoping that for the price point and for like i don't know these are like the first of the ghouls that we've had in literally years that they would have like gone back to the original body that they made for this doll it's kind of a nightmare to work with and this stand is like crap but it would have been cool if we got like you know this bigger more fancy body but it's fine i guess um, now they're more cohesive with the rest of the girls, but here they are all together. And I think it's a great introduction to like, you know, bringing back the ghouls. And I'm really excited for what Mattel's going to do this year. Hopefully the price gouging isn't insane like this. Like they're competing with like Rainbow High and Shadow High right now. And just Playline Shadow High has like tons more value uh, than these, you know. But I'm really happy with them, and I love Draculaura a lot. I think the ranking would definitely be 3, 2, 1, which hurts because Frankie's usually my favorite character. But I don't know. This doll is kind of flawed. I don't know. But thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!